naturally the presentation I was going to give for Europe. So I'll go through kind of a speed version for you today and give you an idea of what's happening as a company and also help you understand that we are, in fact, a global company. Um, let me tell you what a vision statement is. A vision statement is something that we aspire to be or to have. Aspire means to reach the top. And that's what we'd like to do. We want to, uh, a vision statement has several elements to it, um, but it dictates the course of the company. And our vision statement out of SIA has not changed. This is actually the original statement that Spurtis Norton, our founder, came up with. And it's our responsibility to make sure that we stay true to that vision. And that vision is to become the recognized global leader in cellular health and redox-based technologies and achieve worldwide distribution of our life-changing products, our financial opportunity, and our culture. That is our vision statement. We've stayed very true to that. There's actually three parts to that. The first part is the, the redox part as far as being a global leader in that and recognized. I, I know some of you in, in Europe, you can't even say redox from a compliance standpoint. I'm going to say it on this call. Most of you that are on this call understand what type of business we are, what our, our products are. But our, our focus is to become a recognized global leader. And I'm going to show you some things that that we are definitely staying true to our vision. Go over some statistics about our global distribution, some things you may or may not know, um, and also help you understand from a financial and cultural aspect what why we are different as a company. So let's go through the first part. This is, this is unusual that I'm actually going to talk about some of the scientific studies. I have a great view of the company, and... Many of you know that I came through the operations channel of the company. So my background was uh, manufacturing and distribution, working for very large companies, uh, producing products. And when I came to ASEA, um, this is my 12th year, it was a very small company. And my first responsibility was to build what is now our Redox Center and to make sure that we can, from a compliance standpoint, we're meeting all the regulations. Um, so I've, I've been involved in the science from the very early days of this company. And so it's my passion. I love to spend time in science and, and have an understanding of the product. But let me take you through a couple of the studies that we've, we've gone through so that you can get an understanding of what we're looking for in a study. And you don't have to understand every aspect of these studies. You just have to know that as a company, we continue to invest in the study of the product because that helps us with our research and development. So one of the recent studies we did was on something that's called a C. elegant. A C. elegant is a very tiny worm, W-O-R-M for the translator, a very tiny worm. And what we were doing is we were studying if the worms were in a C. A. redox supplement in the liquid, did it increase their longevity or their lifespan? And the reason it's easy to study a worm is because it generally has a short lifespan. And so what we saw is on regular um, ASEA, not just one dose, we compared it to just a one dose, that we saw an increase in the longevity rate of these worms. So what that does is it helps us dictate what types of studies we do. And so this study was done in Spain. Um, and it leads to the next study. So when we do a study, it's many times are called a gateway study. It means we're simply opening the gate for additional studies. So the first study led to the second study also um, in Spain with uh, Dr. Boras that we're studying actual stem cells and we want to look at this. So this is a current study, so we don't have the results on this. Um, but it's good for you to know that we continue to do studies internationally on the product. Um, our production facility is not only a production facility, it also has one of the most complex and most technology advanced testing labs in the United States. So it's, it's really a, 
um, beyond just producing our product, we also test product there. And so this second study is something that's that's going right now. We're going to go all the way to the stem cells. And then let's take another look at a different study. So we'll study both the SIA redox supplement, the liquid, and Renew28. And what we were looking for specifically with Renew28 at the University of Bath in the UK was we wanted to look at glutathione levels. Glutathione is an important biomarker for us because it helps us measure the effectiveness of the product and if it's actually working. So we always have to have a control so that we can see, you know, using a control versus using the actual product, what was the difference? 40% um, increase in glutathione levels with the use of Renew28. So remember, we're studying this topically on your skin. We wanted to see what happens if we actually have a blocker that restricts the uh, production of glutathione. So when we added a blocker, we actually saw more of an increase, so a 55% increase in glutathione. What that's telling us is that when cells are not functioning as they should, that we even have a more uh, we even have more of a positive impact with Renew28. So a wonderful study. The the great thing is Renew28 is classified as um, a cosmetic, and so these are studies that would um, meet all the regulatory requirements for cosmetics. When so when we were doing this study, we said, can we actually impact the levels of glutathione production? by doing different formulations of the same product. One of the advantages we have because we uh, control our own technology is we can control the concentration levels or the molecules within the product. So when I say concentration levels, mo most of the time we measure that in parts per million. So if we wanna increase that, we can increase that, see if it has, what kind of effect that has if we want to decrease it, if we want to change the ratios of the molecules, we can do that. And that's what this um, next study was, is we could actually increase concentration levels and get a higher result. Let's go from the United Kingdom all the way down under, all the way down to um, Australia, to Western Sydney University. This is one of our more recent studies. We have a white paper available on the full results of this study. NRF2 is an important pathway because this is the pathway that's tied to inflammation in your body. What we saw is that we can actually increase um, the production of antioxidant proteins, and we measure that and those different proteins by the use of a CIA redox supplement. So this was really a groundbreaking study. And like I said, that's something that you can continue to look at online. Um, go all the way to South America, to Chile, we're going to look at how does dosage, the amount that we take, impact the NRF2 activity. So um, we're, as a company, we want to make sure that people are taking the most effective amount of the product. So we continue to study that, and that's something that's ongoing. The, the other thing that was important about that study is we're studying how it impacts the oral health and also the health in your gut. So we're gonna to continue to do that. Next study right there in Europe, in Germany. Um, Dermatest is a longtime partner that we've had with Renew28. And so when we are starting to look at other um, applications for the product, this is specific. And this is actually where we're studying acne. Now, why would we do that with a cosmetic? Well, we're in the process of getting additional certifications so that we can make additional claims with the products. And the certification comes at the Redox Center first, and then we're able to do that. But we need to have the studies to back that up. So this is an actual acne study that's being done on the product. Does it impact blemishes that you might have on your skin? We've already seen with past tests, the reduction of, of scars and different things on your skin, skin tightness, skin smoothness. Um, so we're, we're gonna go beyond that with this study. And this is underway right now. We're seeing great results. Okay, so also we'll do studies in the United States. Um, again, this is a study that's looking at dosage 
So we want to see, does the amount that we take make a difference? Um, and then the, the next study is we, we continue to do safety studies. So the reason we do safety studies and um, cytotoxicity, uh, cyto means cell. So we're looking, is there any kind of toxicity in the cell because of ASEA? So again, this is based on different dosages, but we need to do safety studies and continue to update those as they're often requested in different markets. So we, we do all of these things. You don't have to worry about it. You just have to understand you have a great company behind you. And we're doing these studies to make sure that you have a great product. The technology is not static. It continues to evolve and develop over time. And so these independent studies help validate what we're doing every day at the Redox Center. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of those studies. We won't go into depth. You don't have to understand them all. If you need more information, we can provide that. We can provide really deep training, but understand the technology is real, the product is tested, and we continue to test those. 